request for 97 at Simon King Donaire, located kind of off the White Mud in possibly the busiest parking lot the city has ever seen. We have Carol Ann Devaney from Global News with us this week. She's from Ottawa, not from Edmonton. She considers herself a Donaire enthusiast, but not a Donaire connoisseur. She's never had a Donaire any earlier than 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so this is going to be her first experience with the uh, Donaire connoisseurs from Oilers Nation. We're going to give her her first afternoon Donaire experience. We got a show at Simon King. We got two full bags of food here, so I don't think anyone's going to do any work after this. So we're going to get after. We're going to eat these and fall asleep. To kick things off, what did you guys think about the aesthetic of Simon King? They were all business. I loved it. They're like, what do you want? Like super smiley, super nice. But and like, we're also thrilled that you rolled in with a coupon. Yeah. She I rolled did. in with a coupon for a buy one, get one free, and they were accommodating. <laughs> they hooked us up with five donaires and like a massive uh, bag of fries. fries. It was an it was an assembly line in there. They they produced yeah. these donaires like just like that. It was boom. Yeah, it was really and fast. They just dumped a bag full of fries. I like can't wait to oh. work. <laughs> well I gotta I gotta do a quick take on on the aesthetic. It, it had the traditional Ma and Pa donaire aesthetic in there. Red upholstered chairs that are probably as old as the donaire shop itself, but just that to me adds to it. That tells me it's genuine. Yeah. What we're, we're starting to learn here in these reviews is that every donaire shop we go to has an Oilers wall in it, which is just like solidifies the fact that these are just such an Edmonton cuisine. So, so far, yeah. Really... So if it didn't happen, would you leave? Well, I, I think I think as we're kind of building up the sample size of donaire places, that if it doesn't, then I don't think like they care. I don't think they like Edmonton if they don't have an Oilers wall or even an Eskimo wall. Yeah, you no, know, we didn't have an Oilers wall. I've heard really good things about Simon King, so I'm really pumped to try it out. Well, we're, 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 we're pumped you suggesting it, and uh, I think, you know, before we kind of bite in, the initial kind of aesthetic of kind of the packaging, we seem to always kind of go through this. There's a big mistake, though. There's no napkins. Oh. I or maybe think, we should have just grabbed them ourselves. Yeah, self-serve. I kind of looked around. They never make them really accessible. They try to they hide them. Getting, they don't want you to take because they know you're going to grab, like, 50. Mm. Not a running donor. Our last couple places, we've seen some really tight, tightly wrapped donaires. They really feel solid. This is loose, so my premonition already is this is going to be sloppy because yeah. we're we're not going to be in control of this. The donaire is going to be in control of us. Okay, better we're black. And messy's not bad if you're in the right state of mind. How did you? I was thinking. How did you? How did you get into donaires? Coming from Ottawa, moving to Edmonton. How did you get onto them and what, what is it you like about donaires? It's a little thing called alcohol. You know, when I moved oh. here, I was going out quite a bit. Oh, oh, my All goodness. Right. Oh, there it is. Oh my, oh my it begin. Guys, I told you. Oh. I, want, I want to help oh you. Oh my God. Well, do. you can. This is your there's, first ever daytime is, sober donor okay. experience and there's already just like a, like a mess. Guys, I wore black so it would be slimming with my belly because I'm eight and a half months pregnant. And then I thought it wouldn't be as messy, and now it just show. I should have worn white. Yeah. Okay, what's our initial thoughts on this donut? Yeah, I'm gonna dig in here. A good amount of meat here. Like this is thick. Like thick. T H I C C C. This is that kind of thick. Though I will say, there's a good cheese taste, but the sauce isn't really right. It isn't really there for me right now. Like remember when we were at a Swiss donair and there was that little clip where I was squeezing it in front of you? And there was, uh, you could just see the kind of like the sauce pooled around, like at the very top, like right with the meat. That's not, that's not going on here. But the cheese is mixed in really nicely. I'll say. I actually, I like the sauce. Compared to last week, that's the only reason why I kind of knocked down uh, Swiss last week. The sauce is good. Initial issues. I find the meat not to be too hot. I feel like they might have just put a fresh spin on. For the lunch rush, and then we got like the first shavings off of that, so it's a little cool. Meat is still good uh, in terms of flavor, just a little cool for my liking. I don't like hot meat, but I like this because I feel like I'm always burning my mouth, and I feel like if it's too hot, you can't actually taste the flavors for me. 
don't find the meat super juicy, but the pita is super soft, which is good. All right, so that donero was uh, an interesting experience for me because um, I sat down and it was spilling all over the place when I opened it up first, but that's not necessarily a them problem. It's also a me problem. I will say, like taste-wise, it was the it was it was it was like strong. Like the meat was very good, the pita was very good, cheese was good. Didn't think the sauce was fantastic because, as you all know, my standard for sauce is high voltage. Just no one's gonna touch that. But one thing I also did with this donaire that made me realize this is a, a, a drunk donaire is I had to run inside to get more napkins, and I was physically unable to run at the speed that I would like to run. I felt overwhelmed physically by the donaire, and I feel overwhelmed right now. This to me was solid, and I'll give it a, I'll give it an 81. So random. There's a lot of math put into this. Oh, like I'm, just, I'm working it out in my head. You the just, science. You the science. Like what would have made it an 82? An 82 is if maybe there was an extra half of a gold star. Okay. <laughs> Which maybe maybe, well, like maybe a donaire. Maybe a thumbs up. Okay. That kind of thing. I like what you said, it was like a, it was really like a soup donaire, but I did ask for extra sauce. I think it was really flavorful. I think that I will smell like this donaire for days. <laughs> and there's no amount of scrubbing in the shower that will ever take the smell away from my hands and my clothes. And I have to say, the service was really good. I can't, I don't think Caroline should be associated with what I'm about to say. This donair was very messy. The packaging from the get-go told me it was going to be as such. You know, we're all wearing some donair. The ground is just full of donair. Now that doesn't take away from how the donair tasted. You know, it's just, aside from the meat being cold, um, or cooler than I like it, uh, it had good flavor. But, this was a really sloppy donaire. This this was a really this is this is the like definition of a drunk donaire. Where you gotta go home immediately and have a shower or jump into bed and worry about the next day. So we throw terms around about donaires, you know, the running room donaire, you know, the cute donaire. Well we also talk about the date donaire. If you took a girl on a date and ate this donaire, this would be called the cock block donor. <laughs> so having said that, this is probably a drunk 89, but I'm giving the sober report. This is a sober 77. Hate to do it, but it's true, guys. That was really well summed up, actually. That was yeah. beautiful. My hair is back down. I'm trying to look professional once again before I head back into work. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. So could you do the news while eating this? Could you report like uh, some kind of um, like a drug bust or something crazy happening while you got like this in your hand? <laughs> Edmonton needs to know. Like, what if something happened right now and we're sitting here eating the donaire and it was like, um... Yeah, and this had to turn into a breaking news story. Oh, Live on location because out. something happened right there. Chemical fire. Out. The reporting would have to wait.